Thursday night in Mangueira, a favela in Rio de Janeiro. It's party time at the Samba School. It's a chance for Eva Rabiero to dance her worries away, losing herself in the legendary samba. At 38, Eva marvels at some younger dancers. I'd love to dance the samba like they do. There are some very good dancers. It makes me want to learn more. You really get caught up in it. You just don't want to stop. Rio de Janeiro is a city of contrasts. In the hills near the center are the favelas, where millions live in poverty. Many built their homes themselves, a practice only tolerated by the authorities. For nine years, Eva lived here close to the railroad tracks. It's where her son was born. Most people siphoned electricity directly from power lines, never giving a thought to how much they used. Everything changed four weeks ago when the authorities demolished Eva's house. She was relocated to a new home and out of the favela. My house was here. There was another one behind it and next to it too. And there were four more on that side. Now this is all that's left of my house. A few of Eva's friends are still living here. They haven't been moved yet. Most want to leave as soon as they can. They don't feel safe, and the infrastructure is worse than ever. The local hairdresser has hardly any customers left. It's all become more difficult. Most people here have been moved into the new buildings. And the rest of us are waiting for the next ones to be ready. Often there's no water, there's so much garbage, it's all making life hard. The new buildings have been constructed right next to the old neighborhood. There are about 500 units kitted out with solar thermal water heating systems. The first families moved in a few weeks ago. Most are poor, so the cost is covered by the local authorities. That's true for Eva. She's unemployed and, like many, survives on the bare minimum. But the new flat is an improvement. My old house was really horrible, really small. This apartment is so much better. When we were told we had to leave the favela, I was so afraid of losing my house. We're very poor, and we couldn't afford to buy a new one. So I was really afraid of leaving the house and living in a rented apartment. I didn't want to go. I said, if I can't find anything nearby, I'll go back and save my house. The project's name? Mia Casa, Mia Vida, or My House, My Life. It's built 40,000 flats so far. For many beneficiaries, it provides not just a new home, but a step up in society. Germany's GIZ development agency drew up the quality and installation standards for the solar thermal water heating as part of the International Climate Initiative. The people here they have in illegality. People here used to depend on illegal, mafia-like means of getting access to utilities such as electricity, natural gas, water and so on. Now, they don't have to resort to illegal means. And they have hot water. This is the shower. We have hot water from solar energy, so we don't need the electric heater. I wouldn't be able to afford that. The system is both cheap and green. It keeps the electricity costs down. In the summer, it's nice to take a cold shower, but in the winter, the water is too cold. 
If I had to use an electric heater, my electricity bill would be huge. The solar-powered showers save us a lot of money. Training time for the residents. The system needs regular maintenance and cleaning, and everyone living here has to take responsibility. This pilot project is just the beginning. The government wants to bring its energy-saving benefits to many more people. It plans to add solar thermal systems to as many as 400,000 flats. This is a pilot project. We also have other social housing projects where we want to use this integrated system. The whole city benefits. Energy consumption drops significantly. We raise environmental awareness, and at the same time, we improve quality of life for disadvantaged families. A party for children at the new housing project, a chance to foster a community spirit among the new neighbors. What was once a strip of wasteland is now a proud example of sustainable development. Eva Ribeiro is feeling better about her future. She has a new, more comfortable home with legal, affordable energy thanks to the solar thermal system. But millions are still living in miserable conditions. There's a lot more work to do.